All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put a map into your custom live wallpaper as you see right here. And uh, this thing will update on occasion to show like your center location. So technically I'm like right in here somewhere and it is pretty accurate. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna be using my finger on my cell phone um, just because it's easier for me to navigate versus doing the pen. But uh, hopefully, you know, at this point in the game, you are pretty familiar with all the controls of KOWP. So um, I'm going to start from scratch, you know, taking away that whole map. As you can see, there's nothing there. And let's just go from the beginning. So in KOWP, add a shape. I had a square a while ago, but uh, you can do whatever shape you want. I'll do a circle this time. And I'm going to bump this size on up to about 600. All right, and I'm just going to throw it in the center of the screen just for the heck of it. Now, also inside of this shape, this white circle, go to FX, go to Texture, go to Bitmap, and then um, right here where it says Pick Image, Edit Image, um, tap that little checkbox right there. In the top right-hand corner, tap your calculator. Then notice it's a calculator down here now. Tap that calculator. And what you want to do is copy and paste uh, this formula right here, or formula website, whatever. Um, I'm not too familiar with... Uh, coding. It's just a little bit of trial and error and I've been able to get things to work. Now this I found at a website, I think it was on Reddit. But uh, basically what this is, it's going to pull a map, a static map, it's going to put the center of the map at your longitude and latitude and all this little math going on in here, it's going to make it pretty accurate. Um, you can tweak the size if you want and then the zoom, you can change this number if you'd like and the scale is 2. I think if you change the scale to 1 it's not as high res maybe. Um, but I think the scale is just one or two. I'll leave it just like this. You might want to tweak that number there to zoom in some or zoom out some, but I'm going to let it be. So check. Now on my advanced editor right now, I do see a map. You might not see one. It's okay. Click save and go back to your home screen and you should see a map now. So that's that. That's how you put a map up there. Again, um, let's go in here real quick. Now notice, okay, um, I'm seeing like an airport over here. Um, it, I'm going to zoom a little bit and see what changes here um, if we mess around with that zoom. So let me go to KLWP, let me go back to that code. Let's change the zoom to like a 12 and see what happens. Alright, I'm going to save and I'm going back to my home screen and that zooms out. So there's that same airport a moment ago. So by making that number lower, you zoom out. Whereas if you make that number bigger, I'm assuming you zoom in. Um, I, I, you know, I don't really do this too much, but I just want to show you anyway. Let's bump it up to 15 because it was on 14 when I first copied the code over. Let's save that. And now the airport probably won't even be visible, just barely. Yeah, so we're zoomed in a little bit more. All right, so I'm on 15. No big deal. All right, let's edit this thing. Now, two things to show to you. Um, first of all, in the custom official community, if you scroll down a little bit over here on the side, codes and maps, that right there, uh, here you have uh, tons of people providing information. Um, I did learn a couple of things off of here. As you can see here, I like this, the, the black with the gray roads and stuff like that. Um, here's a satellite one, and I saw a green one earlier. Uh, where'd you go? Right there. Yep. And, um, you, you know, how do we make it look like this or something similar? Well, what I use is Map Styler. Um, I think I saw this on Reddit or the Community One. I can't remember where I got this one from, but uh, Map Styler. So just be careful. It's not an E right there. So MapStyler.com. And basically, here's what you can do. I'm going to hover over a few things. Landscape. First of all, I want my landscape. Notice if I highlight over that, see how it changed colors? If I go away, the color goes away. So landscape, now if I go to man-made, it's only doing the man-made pieces, and hopefully you will see the colors changing on this map right here. So those are man-made, that's natural, whereas if I just go over landscape right there, it's doing the man-mades and the naturals. So I want all my land to be black. All right, now you will notice down here, Carleton National Forest, um, notice it doesn't change color. Uh, that's a different one we have to edit, but for right now, let's just focus on landscape. So I'm gonna go to plus, and I want to do, I don't want to do all. I just want to do the geometry. Um, all will change every single color. When we go in and do it, it'll change the fill, it'll change the stroke, it'll change the labels and all that stuff. For right now, I just want to change the geometry. So geometry and what color do we want it to be? So I'm going to check that little box and right now it's on black. 
So all my land is black with the exception of some parks. Um, if we zoom in, I bet if we do zoom in, we'll see some things that are, that are not changing as well. But i tell you what, just to fix the park, notice if I highlight park over here, notice I'm highlighting things. If I highlight park, do you see Croatan change? Watch this, right here, here, and some of this stuff up here, and some of this stuff down here. If I go to park again, bam, it's all changing. So if you want it to be black as well, all your land, you've got to go to geometry. Now, I'm doing geometry um, and not geometry fill. I'm filling in the whole thing, no border or anything like that. Uh, so if I got a check, bam. So that's filled in. There's still a piece of land down here, and that's in Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Um, uh, what would we have to edit there? I'm not quite sure, but I'm not going to stress about it. Most of my land is black. Okay, and let's see here. So I'm going to kind of zoom into where I am um, so we can see it, and how that's going to look relatively similar. All right, this is my general area, Wilson, North Carolina. So a few other things over here, Bridgestone, Firestone. I'm guessing that's a business. Maybe that's why that's showing the way it is. I tell you what, I want to see this word Wilson differently. So let's scroll back up. Um, administrative. Do you see how Wilson's changing if I highlight administrative? That word Wilson right there, administrative. And we can actually say country, it's not going to change it. Province, no. Locality, that's it right there. See, if I take off locality, watch Wilson right there. Locality, there, there it is. So now let's just change that word. Basically, these are cities, I'm assuming. All right, let's do, so I'm going to plus, I'm going to do geometry, no, labels. Let's go to labels. And let's do text fill. Let's fill the text with a white. All right, so checking that, do you see how the Wilson is white? Now let's put a border around this thing as well because there is a little stroke that goes around the word Wilson. Um, basically, I'm changing my cities here, and I'm trying to show you how to edit a few things in here. So I'm going to go back to locality. Um, I don't want to fill the text. I want to do a text stroke. So text stroke, its color. Notice, I, check that out. Do you see how it's changing that word Wilson? And let's do... A red. Alright, check it out. So we filled, um, locality is your city, I'm assuming. We filled it with a white. We did the stroke with a red. Now, as you can see, this can get kind of overwhelming. <laughs> um, trying to get everything changed because it didn't change any of these other words right here. Fleming Stadium, um, our roads. We had to change, you know, the road down here. We had to look, where is it, a high highway, a local. You see all these things changing? Um, whereas here, if I go to road in general, uh, I want to change the color. Let's change the color of the road. So color, I'm going to go geometry. Let's just fill the whole thing. Now you can do a stroke on the road. Do you see how that's changing? Um, geometry fill is going to fill the whole thing. Stroke is going to be just the border of the road. But I tell you what, I just want to do the geometry of the entire road. No stroke, just a, basically filling the whole thing in. And let's do it with a white. Now, I haven't messed with too many other things. I don't know. Okay, weight. That, I guess that's the thickness. Yeah, that's probably what that is, but I don't want weight. I ain't worried about that. I want to do my color. Um, so make sure you have your little check box for each piece. Uh, am I happy with that? Sure, why not? Uh, let's see here. What other things do I want? Okay, water. Do you want water to be blue? You don't have to. Um, what's something else I could show you? Oh, what just happened there? Okay, sports complexes. Do you see some colors changing up there? See that? We got Fleming Stadium. And I think there's a soccer field out over here. So, um, schools. Look, there's some schools. See that? There's a lot of things you can change in here. But for the most part, I'm, I'm happy with this. I want to make my map on my cell phone look kind of like that. Now, it's not going to be perfect because I'm zoomed out. But look, there's that airport I was talking about earlier. So, actually, I'm right up in here. If I drag the map up a little bit, I'm actually um, right in here somewhere. Um, neighborhoods, maybe we can change those. Look, there's a country club over here. What would that be? How do we change that? Point of interest? Okay, it is a point of interest because I see it change. Is it an attraction? No. Is it a business? Yes. See how that color changed? Point of interest is helping me kind of process of elimination. Point of interest, the country club changed colors. Attraction, it didn't. It changed back because it's plain. Notice if I take it off, it's back plain. 
business. See how it changes? So that's how you can change that one. It's a little bit of trial and error, but Map Styler is pretty quick about updating things. I don't like the way these words look um, on my maps. I need to fix those. Administrative, country, province, locality, neighborhood. There it is. Look, neighborhood. I tell you what, let's do a complete fill. Um, I don't know how that's going to look. Uh, never mind. Okay, text fill. Let's fill the text with a yellow. Why not? All right, see how it's filled with the yellow? Now, what kind of border do we want to put around this thing? Since that's text fill, I can actually go back to neighborhood, text stroke, and we can put a stroke around this. So color, um, let's do a green. No, uh, green's not going to show up well because I got a yellow there. How about blue? Is blue going to show up? Yeah, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Now it looks more blue. Now you can't really see any of the yellow. If I go back to my text fill, I bet if we adjust the weight on that, is that going to adjust it any? Eh, not really. Okay, so I'm going to take that off. I don't need that. All right, what else? Let's see. Okay, let's just change the water for the heck of it. Now, the more stuff you add in here, like I'm getting kind of carried away already, um, all the water, but now I don't want to change my labels. I still want to see, see my labels. So the geometry of my water, I don't care about putting an edge border around it. I just want to fill it and stroke it with the same color. And let's make this a, what kind of blue do we want to do? See how the colors are slightly changing? Um, there you go. And I mean, you can make your water yellow if you want to. It don't matter. But anyway, um, let's do like a super dark blue. Okay, I'm happy with that. The more you add here, the more coding you're going to have to do. I'm, pl I'm plenty good with this. So now that we have all these things, these are the things that we have tweaked. Of course, you might want to tweak some more, but I'm going to click on Get JSON. I'm going to copy and paste this into my text file. All right. Now here's where it's like a little bit of trial and error, so to speak. Um, this right here, this was um, something I think I got off of Reddit as well, or maybe the G Plus community. I can't remember. I just had this file saved. And... But anyway, you want the code to follow something like what I just copied and pasted right here. Every new thing we add, we have to do it and style and now feature. Let's hunt around. So look, landscape was one of the first things we did. So for feature type, notice it says landscape. So I want to change this to landscape. And then in the coding, you have to have this little straight bar. Um, I think it's called a pipe, or I just call it a bar. All right, so there's the feature. Now look, element. This says all up here. Well, this element says geometry. So we want to type in geometry. No quotations, though. Geometry, um, stylers. There's no stylers up here. Color. Color. Now, how do we do the color? Notice I don't have any visibility or anything like that with this. I didn't do anything with saturation on Map Styler, though you could, and it will give you that code down here. So I don't need any saturation. I don't need this um, 250 piece. I don't need visibility because none of that is in my code. But notice I'm still keeping that straight bar between geometry and color. Every new little piece that you add in here, feature, element, color, saturation, you have to put a bar in between them. Now, you do, all you want from the color are the six numbers or letters or whatever they may be, and you want to put them right there. So I'm going to cut and paste, but really it's the same color. Leave that zero alone. Leave that X alone. That's the color that we want to copy over. All right. So that one's good. What do we do with this thing? We copy, and I'm going to paste it into my code. So let me go back into KLWP. And this one code right here should change our land. Now, I'm not going to go through here and do all of these. But one thing to point out to you here is this. When we paste this in here, notice I have a blank line beneath this. Some, I've realized sometimes it doesn't work if I have that blank line. So simply delete back and make sure your cursor is right there. But uh, notice the scale. I was talking about zoom 15, scale 2. And then here's where I copied the and style feature, blah, 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 blah. That's that stuff right there. Make sure you're watching this video in HD so you can read all this stuff that I'm putting down. But um, that should be good. My cursor's at the end of that code. Check. Let's save. And let's see if it did apply the black land. That's all we did in this code. Bam. See, it's already starting to look like this. 
Now, I'm not going to do all of this stuff. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do the neighborhood thing um, since I should be able to, look, there's my neighborhood right there. Um, it should say the Village Country Club West, but notice this one's blue and I think it's filled with a yellow. Um, I want it to look like that. And basically you do this process over and over and over for um, each piece that you add. So now let's go into our text and let's hunt for neighborhood. Where was that at? I think it's this one right here. Yep. So let me show you how to type that in. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take, um, I'll take this right here. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it down here. Like I said, I'm not a pro at coding. I just kind of do a little bit of trial and error, um, a little bit of reading online, and that's how I figure a lot of this stuff out. But administrative, so feature type administrative neighborhood. So we have to type all that in, no quotations. So administrative dot n e i g h b o r h o o d. All right. Um, element type labels dot text dot field. So that's going to be the element labels dot text dot field. Not geometry. Labels.text.fill. Um, stylers, remember again, we had no saturation, none of that visibility stuff. I think we'll be okay. Um, this is going to fill it with the yellow because this is this is the text field, not the text stroke. So let me copy and paste. Oops, forgot that F. I don't know if you noticed that in the video, but it kind of just shifted on me over here. It, it, it updates it every once in a while. Alright, control V. Alright, that one's good. So this should fill the neighborhood name with that yellow. Let's see if we can get it to work. Right now it looks like it's not fit. I don't know how much this is going to show up since the screen's so small. But I want to put it right there at the end of what we just did. And look, see? And style, blah, 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 blah. Administrative, labels, text, dot fill, color. Did I, my color look right? Yep. And notice I don't have any blank spaces. Look, there's a blank space. Delete it back. Check it. Save it. And let's see if we're going to get some. Yep, check it out. There's our yellow. All right. Um, and, and there you go. You know, you can come back in here and you do each one of these. Each one has a feature. This was where I changed my city. Each one has an element. And whatever other things you do, weight, saturation, lightness, gamma, I don't mess with all that stuff. I just kind of go and it, this is... It seems crazy, but you could get a lot crazier, too, if you go customizing everything. Look, I haven't customized my streets. I was talking about customizing the country club. Um, all these little side roads here, because there's so much stuff over here. But um, Map Styler is great about updating it on the fly, so you can get an idea of what your phone right here is going to truly look like. But uh, there you have it. That's how you add a map to your custom live wallpaper. And there's a few pieces on editing um, the code that comes from the JSON or JavaScript so that you can take it and put it into KOWP. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.